Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video to give you some idea of the supplies that you would need to do a beginner resin charcuterie board. Um, let's start with preparing your surface. So on this surface, I basically have like a clear sheet that's non-stick so that I can peel my resin off. Um, and so, and it also doesn't damage the surface. So my, my surface is protected. Uh, the second thing, and this is the most important, is a level. And the reason why is because you don't want your resin to drip off when you pour it. You need your resin to stay on the surface. You will get drips, but you will still have a design that stays on your surface. And it is the most important thing. Um, next, we have our measuring cup. We need that to um, measure the resin. Uh, the resin that I use is, um, is 50 hardener, 50 resin. And so I measure that and then I stir it uh, to combine and that's a, um, you have to stir it very thoroughly. Um, we also have cups um, and this is basically to pour the resin in once it's stirred and to put your pigments in and then you have your little stir sticks to then stir your pigment with your resin. Um, and then we also have these cups. These are a little bit smaller. I don't love them as much as these because these ones you can fold and then when you're pouring some detail, you can get finer lines and you can get some more accurate pours with that. Then we have our gloves and that's just to protect our hands from the resin. Um, and then we also have our, uh, this is a blow dryer, which will work well if you do not have a heat gun. I typically use my heat gun. I don't often use my blow dryer, but it'll work as well. Uh, and then um, I think that covers it. I think we've gone through all the items that we need minus the resin and the pigment. And um, oh, no, one other thing, our charcuterie board. This one came from Dollarama. It's fairly inexpensive. Uh, the reason I chose this is because, you know, if, if you're a little bit um, worried about doing your first pour, uh, you want to test it out, it's fairly inexpensive and, you know, you won't be too sad if it, if it doesn't live up to your standards. Then um, we also have these cups and these are just basically a stand because when the resin does pour off, it just, you don't want it to stick to your surface because your design will be ruined, of course.